In this tutorial, we'll use the Human IK system to add motion capture. The first thing you're going to need is a humanoid model. This guy is freely available on TurboSquid. First, select Window, Animation Editors and Human IK to bring up the Human IK window. From there, you want to select Create a new skeleton. When you begin, chances are that your model will be far smaller than the human IK skeleton. So the first thing you want to do is to resize the model to about the size of the skeleton. When your model is about the right size, it's time to start adjusting the position of the skeleton so it neatly fits inside the model. This will include moving joints so that they line with the hips and the knees and the feet and also the shoulders. You can also make adjustments to the skeleton itself. You'll see that this guy hasn't got any hands, so we can turn off all of the fingers and the joints involving the hands to make the model more simple. When you're happy with the position of the skeleton inside the model, it's time to bind them together. To bind the skin, shift select the root node of the skeleton and the mesh. Select skin from the main menu. If you can't see it, you may need to set animation in the drop down box. Back at skin, select smooth bind. In this case, we're going to restrict the number of joints that get connected and influence the skeleton. So we'll set that at one and then apply it. Once applied, to check everything's working, you can grab the odd node or joint and move it around by rotating it to see if the mesh reacts the way that you would expect. If it doesn't, you will need to go into paint weights to redistribute the weights of the vertices. To get some motion capture, we'll use one in the visor window, which is under Windows General Editor. Open the visor and search for the motion capture examples and then right click on the dance1.ma. You'll now have a default model in your scene as well as your original model. This default model has the motion capture automatically applied to it and you can scrub through the timeline to see this motion capture. Now if it's quite long you may need to adjust the number of frames so that you can see the entire sequence.
to apply this motion to your model, first select it, then in the character controller windows under source, you want to look for the motion capture that you just imported. Scrubbing through the timeline, you'll now see that your character has the same motion applied to it as the default character. In your final render, you won't want the default character showing. So open the outliner and delete the mesh of that default character. Make sure you leave the dance move skeleton there.